Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I watched the film the other night and uh, the film in question is called The Boondock Saints. Now, The Boondock Saints stars Norman Reedus, Sean Patrick Flannery, William Dafoe, and then you've also got a bit of a cameo at the end uh, by Billy Connolly. Boondock Saints is a film that I never really heard of until uh, Norman Reedus, also known as Daryl Dixon, decided to uh, appear in The Walking Dead. And then, yeah, the guy's popularity just shot through the roof. Which is fair enough, but Daryl Dixon is pretty much a complete ass-kicker, really. The guy's awesome. Um, I mean, full credit to the guy. Uh, I think if he was to do a bad film, it would be a multi-million dollar box office hit, simply because he was in it. So, with that said, uh, the popularity of his previous films and all his previous work kind of um, skyrocketed as well. Boondock Saints was never the greatest film ever made. It was done back in 1999, so it's a bit of an old film. However, uh, watching it, it's pretty cool. The gist of the story is, two brothers, Connor and uh, Murphy McManus, are brothers. And they live in Boston, in, uh, in America. And, uh, they seem to get into a bit of trouble uh, while they're drinking one night at a bar, who are going to take be taken over by the Russians. And... Uh, these guys are pretty smart, they know several different languages and uh, they don't like it how these Russians are uh, going to try and take over the bar run by one of their friends. And there's a whole palaver and a whole backstory and there's a whole fight going on and uh, that's pretty much where the action takes place. It doesn't take long before the comedy and action uh, bar fight to begin. Action, as I've mentioned, is a bit backwards. In a good way, I think, because it'll show how the guys enter the action. Doesn't show the actual action itself, but then it'll show the end. And this is where the cop, played by William Dafoe, decide to uh, investigate the murder slash killings of uh, the two brothers of what they've done. And then this is where the film almost goes backwards and shows you the middle or the action. So we see the start, we see the end. And then the cops dissect the scene, and then we go back again to the middle of the action. So it's a bit different, a bit twisty, a bit turny, but it kind of works. The reason why the brothers, the McManus brothers, are killing certain mobsters and bad people is to rid Boston of pretty much the bad people. Which is a good story. It's kind of almost like Robin Hood, Robin from the rich given to the poor. It's killing the bad guys and cleaning up Boston. Which is alright, you know. Fair enough if you want to do that. You know, fair play to you. Yeah, at one point the the brothers it's not a spoiler, but the brothers are arrested early on in the film and the cops decide to let them go. And they're all patting them on the back and saying well done and all this sort of stuff. So they actually had the criminals, the killers, the murderers and uh, yeah they let them go. But hey ho. Yeah, like I've mentioned, Norman Reedus, his popularity is shot up due to his awesomeness in The Walking Dead. Uh, fair play to the guy, you know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I watch The Boondock Saints, is because of his popularity and how awesome of a character he is. And how cool of a character in The Boondock Saints he portrays. Um, he does have a bit of an Irish accent, which is a bit odd, a bit strange. He doesn't do it very well, um, however, you know, he gives it a go and he plays a uh, Irish character living in Boston pretty well. But, if you like the sort of, uh, um, I don't know, almost revenge slash um, justice killings, really, uh, then The Boondock Saints is one for you. If you like Sean Patrick Flannery, then you'll enjoy this film. If you like William Dafoe, who's a bit of an odd character, he dresses up as a woman and he's plays a gay cop, um, you know, you'll uh, you'll enjoy it if you're a William Dafoe fan. If you're a Billy Connolly fan, you'll enjoy it as well. And uh, especially if you're a Norman Reedus fan, then I think you would really enjoy it. The film's not great. If Norman Reedus was not in it, then uh, it'll probably be on the archives of uh, folklore film history. However, because he's in it, it makes it a good film. So guys, thanks for watching my review of The Boondock Saints, starring Norman Reedus and uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, William Dafoe and Billy Connolly. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Really, if you're a Norman Reedus fan, then you know, it's definitely one for you. Uh, also, 
Don't forget, we the voted. Links are down below as per usual. Use Toby WTD gets you 20% off any We the Devoted gear. Links down below as per usual. But thank you very much for watching my review of the Boondock Saints. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.